second child is bear crawling. It means they have no midline whatsoever. In this video, you're going to learn the importance of midline crossing. Why bear crawling is a non-optimal form of crawling. And a simple at-home exercise that you can do with your baby to help promote optimal four-point crawling. Welcome to Movement Lesson. Find our links in the description below. Okay, what's midline? Midline, okay, if I just stood like this, a midline people think is this, right? This is a very immature, you know, coming to midline, but midline crossing is not just your arm coming here. Now, you and I can stand here like this and cross our arms, right? Babies can't. Babies move their whole bodies because this is crawling, right? When they're doing all of these things, right? This is crawling. But when a baby is in bear crawl, and I hate to use the word crawl because it's not a crawl because it's not reciprocal, there's no midline crossing whatsoever. Club crawling, at least there's a little bit of one and they're club crawling. See where my chest is going? But again, bear crawling is here. The only way you can get in and out of bear crawling is from the tummy. So this is where the breakdown of sitting. So your baby is here and they'll come over and then they'll start pushing up. So. What's the first big mistake? First of all, that they're pushing up into getting locomotion from the floor. The second is, guess what guys? I can't see you. And even more so with a bear crawl. Every milestone, their eye can stay on the prize. It can't happen when they're in bear crawl. So if I'm here, right? Now I'm here for bear crawl. Where the heck is my head? I can't see you, right? Now I maybe can get here. Now again, for, for a child to crawl, see how I'm not crossing midline? There's nothing there. I can't cross midline. It's there and I'm doing that. So it's not about strength. Guys, the stronger you make a child in this position, it just means the stronger they can do that. This is a plank. Plank is for the gym. It's not for babies. These kind of movements, there is no midline crossing whatsoever. Not in the pelvis, not in the tush, not in the knees. Not that. This is just a total plank. We do this stuff to exercise. We don't do it for child for, for development. This that you're showing me, there's no midline crossing. So if I have my chair, I can go down here. I don't cross midline. Yeah, you can say, oh, my kid can get up, right? But what should happen here is this, right? Is, is the movement of the pelvis. I can get up. I'm not holding on to something or I can hold on to something still get down because my pelvis works right at this stage of the game the child should be able to turn around and go hey mom what's up you need to work on the midline when they're in sitting the first thing you want to kick in is the vision when they have immature vision or immature skills it's same same meaning again clarinet hands that you can play the clarinet on and you're just guiding the vision. Now I have to hold my baby doll's head. And you're guiding, you're working on midline, but it's same, same. I look to the right, I move to the right. I look to the left, I move to the left. You can also work with sitting and you. And this is a great way of working in sitting where they're just on your lap because again, now I can do same, same, but I can also now move my knee and that's where I can get the pelvis to move and pelvis to move. Right? This is one of the big, the benefits when people do horse therapy, hippotherapy, is because the horse uh, activates when a child's sitting upright. And those are the things we need to work on.